Okay guys, so we're making a video here on how to graph a scatter plot with a line of best fit. Um, this is just some sample data. This is actually pulled from a middle school math class, but I thought since I did it today that it would be uh, helpful for us to take a look at. Okay, so right here I have a data set. Uh, what would be on my x-axis and my y-axis, age and height respectively. Um, you notice how I've left off any um, word year here or any inch sign. Um, I've left them just as pure numbers. Um, so if you had the need to clarify, uh, you could do that in the title up here. Um, just will help alleviate any confusion um, that Excel might have here. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and graph this. Um, so I'm going to select all of these here with the column headings included. I'm going to go up to my insert tab and I'm going to click this little box right here to get all of my options just because I like to see everything. It's just this little arrow box here in the corner. Um, and I'm going to come on the left here, I'm going to pick the XY scatter. That way it doesn't try to compare these two things, but it recognizes that one is X axis and one is Y axis. X is going to be your first column and then Y. I'm going to have my just scatter with only markers picked right here. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to give me my initial plotting of those particular um, data set here. Okay. Uh, now I want to put in a line of best fit and so I'm going to go up here um, to layout and I'm going to come to where it says trend line. Now it gives me some options here um, linear, exponential, okay, forecasting, those types of things. I'm going to come down here to more trend line options to make sure I get everything that I want. I want a linear line of best fit Okay, and I also want to display the equation on the chart. Um, you'll notice it pops up here. We'll move it here in a second. Um, and my, uh, yeah, that, that will, for the math people, be very helpful to compare, let's say, something they did by hand to see how close they got to the actual line of best fit. I'm going to close this. Okay, now it put this equation in the middle of everything. I don't like that, so I'm going to click on it and hover over until I get the four arrows in all different directions, click, and I'm going to drag it and put it somewhere else. Okay, so you'll notice here that I have all of my points plotted. I've got my line of best fit calculated by the computer, so it's perfect. And then I also have the equation for that uh, line of best fit. Um, I can come in here and I can, I can change all kinds of things on this chart. Um, I can edit my chart title, okay, um, so I've got the chart title displayed here. I can click on here and I can actually uh, change this to whatever I want to change it. For example, I could put um, age and height, maybe. Okay, just depend on however you want to do that. I can also add in the axis titles. Um, so let's do one for that axis. And then I want to pick one um, let's say that it's rotated here. Okay, this would be the normal way. And then again, I can go in and edit those things. Okay, so I may have age over here, and I'll indicate that this is in years. Come down here, and I can put um, height, and indicate that that's in inches. Okay. Um, I also can decide what I want to do with the legend here. I've got the legend telling me that my my point here is indicating my height for those particular individuals and then that my line is my linear best fit. Um, I can make that go away if I want by coming over here to legend and turning it off. I can also tell it where I want that legend to be. And then I can also indicate whether or not I want to have any titles for the, those particular data points. I can add 
Um, I can change the way I want the axis to look. I can also include grid lines. Um, so I'm going to do my, uh, let's just do my major, sorry, my major grid lines for vertical and horizontal. Okay. And also you could put in major and minor there if you wanted it to be more um, precise. Okay. And again, you have all kinds of different options here that you can that you can make for this. Okay. Um, I'm going to click back on my home tab just to make everything look normal here. So you see that what we've done is that we've taken a data set, we have graphed it into a scatter plot. Um, we have added a trend line or a line of best fit in this case, a linear trend line. And we have also shown the equation for that trend line or line of best fit. We've added in axis labels, both for the X and Y axis. And we have changed our title to be more reflective of what we're looking at here. And we've also added major and minor grid lines to uh, make it look more like what would be drawn by the student if they were using graph paper, or to provide just a little bit more clarity and reduce some of the ambiguity in where those plot points are actually residing. I hope this is helpful. I'll make more here on graphing different types of data, but I wanted to share this one with you since I did it uh, today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.